Hey, what's up guys? John here. We are witnessing the erosion of New York City, all thanks to corrupt politicians like Andrew Cuomo and AOC, pretending as if their job is to protect and serve and provide for the less fortunate. The reality is this is the biggest power grab in human history happening right now in New York City. Andrew Cuomo is presenting and proposing this new bill, this law that would make New York City the highest tax bracket throughout the entire country for high income individuals. People will say, oh, that's a good thing. They need to pay more tax. Well, if it's the highest income bracket in the country, where are they gonna go? They're gonna get the hell out of New York City. They're gonna go somewhere where their business is wanted, like Florida, no income tax, great weather for the most part, but if just a favorable place to do business, run a business and live a life. Now we're gonna be stepping into a period that is their dream. And that dream is to destroy asset prices and bring New York City to its knees so then they can roll out their plan of buying out all these distressed properties and essentially turning New York City into the modern day Venezuela. Now in this video, I'm gonna break down what their plan is, how it works, and also how Andrew Cuomo just pulled $4 million out of a book deal. I don't know how this man is out writing a book after everything that he's being accused of right now, as well as his nursing home catastrophe. With all that being said, please smash that like button, drop your comments below, curious as to what you guys think, and uh, please hit that like button, let's begin. This article is from Bloomberg, just came out about an hour ago. The richest New Yorkers face tax hike under proposed budget deal. The richest New York City residents could soon face the highest combined state and city tax in America. Governor Andrew Cuomo and the state lawmakers have reached a tentative agreement to raise taxes on the wealthiest New Yorkers as part of a roughly $200 billion budget expected to be announced as early as Monday, according to a person familiar with the negotiations. If approved, the state income taxes would temporarily increase from 9.65% from 8.82% for single filers earning more than a million dollars. According to the person who hasn't authorized to speak publicly because a final budget hasn't been reached, New York City residents with lower income over that threshold would pay between 13.5% and 14.8%. That compares with 13.3% on income over 1 million in California, according to the highest in the nation, according to the tax foundation. And this is how they're pushing them out of city. They're taxing them to death. They're shutting down their business. New York City has been one of the hardest places to be a business owner, face-to-face -face business. Their shutdowns have been brutal the last 12 months compared to nearly everywhere else. Look at this here. Alon Omar and AOC are working on this bill together says, right now we are facing an unprecedented crisis that has put millions of Americans at risk of housing instability and homelessness, says Rep. Elon Omar. While the American Rescue Plan extends the national rent moratorium, this is not a long-term solution. People across the country will be forced to pay back tens of thousands of dollars in back rent when it ends. In some cases, local governments are allowing evictions to continue despite the moratorium. In other cases, landlords are going bankrupt due to lack of income. To avoid an even larger crisis, we must cancel rent and mortgage payments during this pandemic. This isn't a radical idea. It's what's needed to prevent an even bigger crisis. And what their plan is, is right here, if you look at the top, optional buyout fund to fully finance the purchase of private properties by nonprofits, public housing authorities, cooperatives, community land trusts, and state and local governments in order to increase the availability of affordable housing. So they're jacking up the taxes, they're shutting down the businesses, and they're rolling out these policies. This isn't for anyone's best interest. This is for their rise to power. AOC, Ilan Omar, Andrew Cuomo. I mean, what is he doing writing a book anyway? A $4 million book deal, he got $4 million about handling the pandemic. This should, he should be the last person to write a book that would be like Gavin Newsom writing a book, you know, three steps to being a great politician with honesty, integrity, and fair dealing. It, it's insane to me. And rents, home prices in New York City drop at the steepest pace in January. Rents and home prices in New York City fell at the fastest annual rate on record in January, largely due to an inventory glut that may take the city's housing market years to recover to pre-pandemic levels of activity. Rents in New York City dropped by the largest year-over-year -year pace on record in January, plunging 15.5% in Manhattan and 8.6% in both Brooklyn and Queens. What that means, if you're not a real estate investor, 
most investors buy properties in New York City at maybe a four to a 6% cap rate. What a cap rate is, is imagine you paid all cash for the property, you would receive that margin back as profit. So let's say hypothetically it's 5%. So if you bought a property for a million dollars, you'd receive a 5% return, which would be $50,000 a year. What that means is if you're getting a negative 15% and you bought it at a 5%, it means you're losing about 10% of your money each year. So let's just say hypothetically, you're taking a 10% loss. That means it's only a matter of time until you can't hold on to the building any longer. And unless those rents climb steeply, then you're gonna fall right into the trap that Alon Omar, AOC, and Como have, which is the buyout fund for affordable housing. So the only people that are really gonna survive this is not gonna be the mom and pop business owners and the little mom and pop investors because their businesses are crushed under Andrew Como. It's gonna be the Blackstones, the Black Rocks, all these private equity companies that are really gonna be able to take advantage of everyone's pain and misery alongside of uh, these politicians. The New York agreement would create two tax brackets under the proposed plan, incomes between 5 million and 25 million would be taxed at 10.3% and incomes over 25 million, 10.9%. The new rates would expire in 2027 under the proposed plan. Taxes have been one of the largest points of contention between governor and the legislator. In January, budget proposal call, Como called for a $1.5 billion income tax increase but that was before the state knew how much money it would receive from the federal bailout. New York will receive only $12.6 billion of the $15 billion in federal aid it sought, leaving a hole of nearly $2.5 billion, Budget Director Robert Mojica said last week. Leaders of the Senate and Assembly each discussed raising nearly $7 billion in revenue, which included proposals to increase income, estate, corporate taxes. The proposal included a 1% surcharge on capital gains income, a Petiter levy, and lifting an estate tax. Petiter is a second home in New York. New York City residents with income over that threshold would pay between 135 and 14%. That compares with 13.3% on incomes over a million in California, currently the highest in the nation according to the Tax Foundation. And over a million dollar income, you're paying 37% federal. So with state and federal, over half of your income goes away into thin air, into these random programs that you may or may not want to support. As more people already become less dependent on their central offices, the combination of state and city income taxes will heighten the departure risk of high earners who have already supported much of the state spending, Rain said. The proposed New York budget deal also includes $500 million in property tax relief intended for about 1.3 million New Yorkers who earn less than $250,000 a year, the person said. The agreement leaves in place prior middle-class tax cuts enacted in 2016, the person said. The person's personal income tax rate is set to drop in 2021 tax year from 5.97 to 6.09 percent for individuals earning between 40,000 and 150,000 per year. Well, the city is not making their money on that niche, that group of people. So we're stepping into a very scary time in New York City. If I own property there, I would consider selling now. And if I intended to stay there long term, I would go somewhere else and I'd come buy back in in probably two years. Because I think when these politicians are done with what they're doing, we're gonna see asset values fall at levels we can't imagine possible. These expensive cities like Los Angeles as well, they're gonna go through very big changes, big price reductions. We're gonna see large exoduses. You know, people already think that we've seen something. I think the next six to 12 months is we're gonna see the real pain. Right as the winter starts coming back in, people are gonna leave. Right now, people are gonna stay as long as possible because great weather and it's a nice place to be. But when that fades away and the reality sets in with what these politicians are doing, that's when we're gonna see the real exodus in my opinion. What do you think about everything that's happening right now in New York City? Really curious, drop your comments below. Also, please smash that like button, help me share this message and consider subscribing for more content on personal finance, real estate, business, and of course, money. All right guys, see you in the next video. Hey, if you'd like to learn how to get started on YouTube, click the link in my bio. It's a free live training. And if you'd like to learn how to invest in cash flowing multifamily real estate for beginners, there's a link there as well. All right, guys.